You've seen the promises, you've heard the hype, and now it's happening. Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus is evolving, and Optimus Gen 3 could change everything. Whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. And when Elon Musk calls something awesome, you better believe he means it. This robot isn't just a helper, it's the future of robotics, and it's already starting to move into Tesla factories. But hold on, how did we get here? How did Optimus go from a concept to a reality that's already in action? And more importantly, what can this new generation of robot do that its predecessors couldn't? Stick around because you won't believe how far Tesla has come in just a few short years. Let's rewind back to the very beginning. In 2021, at Tesla's AI Day, Elon Musk shocked the world when he introduced the first version of Tesla's humanoid robot. So, uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. Um, and it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. We were all expecting something sleek, futuristic, maybe even a little bit frightening. What we got, though, was a prototype, a skeleton of sorts that was still very much a work in progress. And honestly, it was a bit clunky. The early version of Optimus was designed to handle basic repetitive tasks, tasks that Tesla already needed help with in its factories. Things like picking up boxes, moving equipment, and potentially even carrying out more complex industrial tasks down the road. But let's face it, this was still a robot in its infancy. It was a shell, not yet alive with the intelligence or capabilities we've come to expect from Tesla. But what exactly were Musk's big plans? Well, Tesla's ultimate goal was to create a robot that could act like a human. Musk predicted that Optimus could one day make human labor optional. A futuristic sci-fi version of the workforce with zero wages, zero complaints, just pure efficiency. Fast forward to 2022 and Tesla unveils Optimus II, an improved prototype that moved more fluidly, performed better in its factory tasks, and had a more refined design with an actuated neck integrated electronics, torque sensing, human foot geometry, and reduced weight. This was no longer just a vision. Optimus II had full body control and could walk, pick up things, and interact with its environment in ways that the original Tesla bot couldn't due to an improved tactile sensing system. But despite its improvements, Optimus II still faced many challenges in terms of dexterity, movement, and the ability to adapt to a range of new tasks. And then came the Optimus Gen 3. The new version promises major hardware upgrades, including more human-like hands, a greater range of motion, and autonomy. This increased flexibility means the robot will be able to handle more delicate tasks, such as picking up fragile objects, assembling parts, or even doing more complex physical labor. But what's even more shocking is that Optimus the 3 is not a concept or a theoretical robot anymore. It's real, and it's already working on the production lines in Tesla factories. It can even navigate non-flat terrain like stairs. Isn't that amazing? This leads us to one of the most exciting aspects of Optimus the 3, its potential for widespread industrial use. Musk has teased that by the end of 2024, Tesla plans to have over 1,000 Optimus robots working across its factories. And it doesn't stop there. Tesla plans to eventually deploy Optimus in various industries beyond automotive production. The robots will assist in warehouses, potentially take on domestic duties, and who knows what else. All right, so let's now put the microscope on what differentiates these versions of the Optimus bot. The first iteration was just a concept, a theoretical showcase of what could be done. It could barely walk, had limited dexterity, and was really just a prototype, a glimpse into the future.
The second version made huge strides in functionality. It moved more fluidly, had better mobility, and was capable of completing basic tasks like picking up materials and assembling simple pieces. It had improved balance, full body control, and hands with 11 DOF degrees of freedom, allowing it to perform a wider range of movements and object manipulation. It wasn't quite there yet, but it showed progress. This is where things get wild. Thanks to a massive hardware overhaul, Optimus 3 is now incredibly mobile and much more precise in its movements. Let's start with what this robot can do physically. Optimus Gen 3 has upgraded motors, actuators, and motion sensors, allowing it to handle everything from precise movements to heavy lifting. With fine-tuned actuators, it's not only capable of precise actions, but also versatile enough to handle a range of activities, from playing games like rock, paper, scissors, to assisting with warehouse tasks. Imagine a robot in your home or workplace that could safely carry out daily tasks without breaking a sweat. The hands, with a whooping 22 DOF, twice that of the Gen 2 and almost close to that of a human hand at 27 DOF, will be able to do things that would have been impossible for Optimus 1 and 2. Optimus Gen 3 runs on a highly advanced AI brain, powered by Tesla's full self-driving technology. This AI allows it to analyze its environment and make autonomous decisions on the spot. It's not just following commands, it's thinking for itself. Can you imagine a robot that not only recognizes obstacles, but also learns to avoid mistakes and adapt to new situations in real time? Optimus Gen 3 can reportedly recognize and navigate around obstacles, adjust its behavior to avoid mistakes, and interact safely with humans. Tesla isn't stopping at making this a cool gadget. They want it to be practical. Optimus Gen 3 is being designed for both household and industrial environments. In a home setting, it could help with daily chores like watering plants, organizing items, or even playing games with family members. But, um, but fundamentally, at scale, at the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. In an industrial setting, it could become the ultimate assistant. Sorting packages, managing inventory, or handling tasks too repetitive or strenuous for humans. Now we know that Elon Musk doesn't do things half-heartedly. So what exactly does he see for Optimus III in the future? Tesla's long-term goal is to transform Optimus into a robot that can autonomously perform tasks in human environments essentially replacing manual labor across countless industries. Musk has made no secret of his belief that robots like Optimus will revolutionize the workforce, freeing humans from repetitive and physically demanding jobs. The aim is to have robots that could integrate seamlessly into daily life. At the upcoming Tesla AI Day Day, Musk is likely to showcase even more advancements, including the robot's AI capabilities and how Tesla is pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence. With more than 1,000 Optimus robots predicted to be in use by the end of next year, we could be on the brink of a robotic revolution. My prediction is next year we'll have over, over 1,000, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. According to Tesla, the first major rollouts will be in Tesla's factories. Musk has even mentioned that by 2025, Optimus could help with automating various tasks that currently require human workers. From sorting materials to building cars, this robot is built to make Tesla's production process more efficient. But that's just the beginning. Optimus isn't just for Tesla. It's part of Musk's grand vision for the future of work. He's spoken about the robot being adaptable enough to function in a range of industries, from logistics to home cleaning. We've made a, a massive amount of progress with Optimus in a short period of time, from someone pretending to be a robot dancing in a suit. Uh, <laughs> to a pretty hodgepodge robot, to a robot that is actually doing useful tasks in the factory today. Um, so we have two Optimus robots in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is taking cells uh, off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. As AI continues to improve, Optimus 3 could even start taking on more personalized tasks, such as caregiving, elderly assistance, and more. Tesla plans to finish the major hardware revisions for Optimus 3 and begin scaling production in late 2024. 
So by early 2025, you can expect to see the first batch of Optimus robots in action across Tesla's factories and elsewhere later on. Tesla is also looking into partnering with other companies to deploy Optimus in areas where human workers are currently struggling. Whether it's physical labor, data analysis, or caregiving, Optimus has the potential to fill a lot of gaps in the global workforce. And as Musk has said, the ultimate goal is not just to replace workers, but to enhance human productivity, letting people focus on more creative and less physically demanding roles. From its humble beginnings as a clunky prototype to becoming a working member of Tesla's workforce, Optimus has come a long way, and it's just getting started. But will Optimus 3 revolutionize industries, or will it be another experiment that fizzles out? Will robots like Optimus really replace human workers? You'll want to stick around because Tesla's next move could be even more mind-blowing than this. Could Optimus 3 be the start of the greatest leap in robotics history? Only time will tell. Stay tuned for more because this is only the beginning.